Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel and today you join me for a POV drive in a Mark II Golf GTI rocking a 20 valve turbo swap. The engine is taken straight from a generation one Audi S3, a car that I once upon a time owned. So we're gonna pull the car up as usual, do a little walk around, and I'm gonna show you exactly what this bad boy is like to drive. So enjoy the video. So guys, here she is, the Mark II Golf GTI, as mentioned, it's got a 20 valve turbo swap. Previous owner, I absolutely loved this thing. I met him, he lived local to me, and uh, he didn't really wanna sell it to be fair. You don't get many of them in this condition either. It's a 1984 car, front wheel drive from factory, obviously naturally aspirated. It's now got a bigger turbo by Garrett, fully custom turbo kit, custom manifold. Funny enough, all my mates growing up, they all used to be into their V-dubs. I was always the Beamer guy. And this is a proper, proper spec out car. I think around 20,000 pounds in modifications, 15 grand on the engine alone. These things are super light. We're talking a thousand kilos, no more than 1100 kilos. Front wheel drive from factory. And this one's got the BBS, the V-dub special. Suspension by KW, it's the variant twos with HLS4. So you can actually adjust the ride height electronically by a button inside the cabin. It's got Corrado brakes up front. It's also got Mark IV Golf calipers on the rear. Obviously the car being light, it stops really, really easy and it drives so nice. Can't wait to show you just how fast this thing is as well. Puts out around 300 brake horsepower. And uh, yeah, this is a car that when it when I drove it back, I'm like, man, I should keep this thing. It's just so sick. It's finished in a color called Diamond Silver. Have a look at that, people. This car is ready for a four wheel drive swap, man. Whoever wins this. I can't believe it. In fact, the winner's actually taken the cash twice on this car. So uh, I don't think that this car is actually being appreciated for what it is. So engine wise, I think a lot of the work was carried out by a company called TSW or TSR Performance. Sorry if you're watching. But um, as I say, it's got a 1.8 turbo uh, 20 valve swap now. These are naturally aspirated from factory, of course. It is a seriously, seriously fast car. It's not for the faint hearted, I promise you. A thousand kilos. 300 horsepower, detuned, mind you. This thing can run 400 horsepower, no problem at all. There's no ABS, no traction control, so it's all throttle modulation. You've got to be a driver. A load of torques there if you're not careful. Manual transmission, obviously that's going to be from an Audi S3. This 1.8T is the uh, engine from the S3, as I mentioned. Uh, the BAM engine, I think is what you call it. And it's actually been stroked to a two litre. So it's got upgraded pistons, rods, Got a custom turbo kit, custom manifold. I think it's a Garrett uh, GT3067R, if I'm correct. We've got upgraded fuel pumps by Bosch. We've got a Bosch ECU, and it's also tuned by TSR or TSW. Sorry, I can't think of the name right now. It's got a custom intercooler, custom radiator. It's got teal wastegates. Uh, we have a TSR exhaust system, three inch all the way. The list really doesn't stop, man. Like, get on the website and check out the specification. It literally drives like a new Golf. I'm not exaggerating. It's got swell pot system as well. On idle, it's perfect. Quick little look in the interior because it is super clean in here as well. This steering wheel is from a Mark 1 Golf. All of the interior has been re-trimmed in leather. And any of the VWs, you'll probably notice this pattern on the seats. I'm sure these are some sort of rare seats. We've got focal audio system. Even the door cards are matching the actual seats. But anyway, I'm going to stop waffling. Let's hit the road and see what she's like to drive. Yeah, boy. Mate, this thing moves. <laughs> on the dash it's like new in here man a seriously well looked after vehicle what i'm immediately noticing is just how sensitive the throttle is could be maybe the fact the turbo is just really quick spooling but just the fueling everything just feels spot on like it feels as i say it feels like i'm driving a new golf like that is not an exaggeration the rev matching is nice the rev matching is better than on a new golf to be fair not that I've driven many new golfs with a manual transmission, but crispy boy. Man, sunny day like this. Mark two golf. <laughs> this is 
like disturbingly fast, like no joke. This 300 horsepower just feels different to the 300 horsepower in that uh, Vauxhall Nova that I drove the other day. This thing moves, man. I'm not playing with you. And the steering's just nice and nimble. Obviously, we've got the KWs on. Anyone that knows, they're probably the best you're gonna get, really, on a car. We've got a tunnel. Let's go on boost. Flatten the throttle. <laughs> <laughs> that is fucking jokes. Gunshots. So yeah, man, the, the turning's so nice on this car. Obviously the wheel, I've said it in many older cars. I think modern cars are a bit more upwards. This one's a bit more flat, so you, you're holding it like this, literally like a bus. Not that I've driven many buses, but um, yeah, I like the diameter, the dimensions. All of this cabin just reminds me of a flipping Sega Mega Drive. Just brings back nice memories, man. You know, away from all of this modern, new electronic. Well, it's just a mess. Come on, guys, gotta admit it, right? It's a nice feeling being in here, man. I used to be sitting in the back of these. I've been in crashes in these cars. My mate crashed his Mark III GTI. I used to be in all the VR6s. Oh, we feel it just tug me straight to the left then. Like, if you're not used to driving, this could be lethal for sure in the wrong hands. Look at the second gear. I just pushed into the throttle then. <laughs> Man, this is unreal. Like, seriously, like, it, it, like it, it's not just an exaggeration. It, it is a very satisfying power. Like, I can see now why the previous owner detuned it because this was running closer to 400 horsepower. Flatten it. Whoa! Fuck it now, she flies people. No joke. Lovely over these bumps as well. You think when you know upgrading suspension, you're gonna have a way harsher cabin, but absolutely false, man. Like if it's set up correctly like this. You are all good. Fourth gear. Nice. Rev matching fourth down to third. Aggressive, man. Usually you do KO. Is it KO fours that these cars come with? Let's go. Second gear, flatten the throttle. She revs out as well, man. <laughs> so we've gone from a 1.8 to a 2 litre. So usually what you notice is you get a tiny bit more power than the equivalent engine, but you get a lot more low down torque. So it's not usually much more power, but your power and torque is lower down in the curve. So if you used to see the graph, you'd notice this car's probably running more power lower down if that makes any sense what this car sells to me is the daily drivability man honestly the gearbox is sweet five speed manual look at the interior it's beautiful look at this no cracks on the dash lads you know what i'm saying and this old fucking ford shit mate we've got the fucking creaky windows another thing to note as well was the steering wheel is really really light i'm sure this would have been hydraulic this is definitely had some sort of electric conversion and i don't know if you've noticed the hls button is right here so if you come up to a bump that's too low you press that and it will literally raise the suspension proper bit of kit mate as sideways sid would say that second gear is aggressive man she lets off gunshots Forget first gear, not happening lads. Must have some sort of LSD upgrade, I'm sure. I remember the guy saying, but you see here, this is where front wheel drive is a bit worrying. See how we've got cars coming towards us. If I was to get on throttle there, I'm telling you, we don't know. It'll be a guessing game whether we're gonna hit them or stay in our lane. So you can see the camber on this road is a little bit off. So this is where front wheel is a bit dodgy. I've said in many of my reviews over the years though, I do love front wheel drive cars. It really tests you as a driver. 
I know people call it wrong way drive, whatever you want to call it. Of course, dynamically, it's probably all wrong, but second gear, gear sick, brakes are sick. Don't know if I mentioned, we've got G60 calipers up front. We also have Mark IV Golf brakes on the rear. Like this for me is like a, a cure for depression, do you know what I mean? You know like in this day and age, I said it earlier on in the video, like where we're just, the technology, you're just glued to your phones and I just feel like it's just sad times right now. The kids don't go out, they're just stuck in their computers and getting in this car right now is just nice man, very analogue, there's no fucking screens in the cabin. I'm just going for a drive and all I can think about is driving because you know the torque steer, the fact is front wheel drive, go on mate, the fact is front wheel drive, um, oh he wanted, he wanted it out didn't he, he wanted a bit of fucking, oh, right. the fact it is front wheel drive, it's just got my full attention whilst driving, it's not like some of these other cars that you fall asleep at the wheel, drive with one finger. I am only thinking about driving. I'm not thinking about the family right now, mate. Do you know what I mean? I'm thinking about fucking driving. <laughs> and I'm thinking about fucking what we're gonna do in the morning and what time I'm gonna be here and what's the missus saying and what's the little man saying. We're just, we're just driving. You know what I mean? That's what you want. You want a car that just has your full attention. Fuck it, let's go first. A little... Push the throttle a little bit. Bro, this thing is fucking fast. This is this is more than 300 horsepower. I don't care what the owner says. I don't care what the dyno says either. That is more free. Yeah. I've got a buck dyno, bro. I'm telling you, this thing's like 300 and closest to 350 for sure or it could just be the fact it's a built engine we've got the stroked engine on top of that so maybe we're just getting like way yeah that's what it is it's the torque isn't it that's why you stroke these bitches sorry that's why you stroke these engines because like i say you get a lot more torque because it's built you can actually use the torque as well so a lot of these cars these m3s these mercedes these audis you know they run seven eight hundred horsepower but they're doing it on stock engines which means you always got to cap the torque yeah you hear that capping the torque obviously torque destroys shit and that's why you end up having to upgrade your gearbox so this is torquey as f and we are about to hit the wrong roads for this car for show see what i mean see how i'm left right left right now see look this car's in the bush maybe that's what they've just been through you probably could go over quicker spalling turbo but it might be lending this car a favor because because the torque steer is just another level really yeah man it turns nice driving one of these is usually a literal workout not that it's not got me thinking, I have to think. So I'm using mental energy because of that torque steer. And you know, versus a new, new car, it's still gonna be a little bit more challenging to drive. So it sounds like I'm contradicting myself, but I'm not. Yeah, I'm not lads. I'm just not breaking it down well enough, am I? So we've got a light wheel. But there, you come on throttle, it's like whoop, whoop, left, right, left, right. So like if you're an unaware driver, it may not bother you, but someone that is very curious and interested in driving, it's gonna have you mentally exhausted. I would like for this wheel to not be electronic though. That would actually just be even better. Second gear, why not? Wee! Don't wanna press the brakes too hard because we are gonna lock up. Oof! Fuck me, it's that Valkyrie again. You kidding me, lads? Jesus, some rich motherfuckers around here, innit? Mate, shout me, mate, if you're, if you're watching. Give me a buzz, innit? Fourth gear, look, so much lag. What car was I in the other day? Fourth gear, about this kind of speed. You're just flying off. Uh, this would have been uh, Marquis M140, I think. But he had a thousand newton meters. Big, big difference, lads. Anyway, 
I am going to end the video. This car, for the record, is actually on the website. Ticket link in the description. I've done tickets. Dirt cheap. Every single one of you can enter. 19p. One of you will 100% be winning this car. It's up to you if you want the cash. There's a small cash alternative. But I'm telling you, this car costs at least double the cash alternative. The reason the cash alternative is what it is, because we want the winner to take the car. But like I say, ticket link in the description. Car probably is going to be one tonight. Maybe tomorrow night. I don't know. Check the link. Anyway, I'm out.